everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mary CLT's Ideas. This time I'm going to concentrate on, on advice for students. Many of my students ask me, teacher, how could I improve my English? What can I do? Well, today I'm going to focus on different pieces of advice for students so then you can also share with yours. Probably they may have the same kind of problems, so then let's go into detail. So for me, one of the most important tools you can use is internet. So you can Google just one thing. For example, let's put present perfect. And then you can get different sites here, different sites, so you can decide. You can click and then you can find uh, exercises, definitions. Let's just take one at random. And what about YouTube? Let's check some examples. Is it possible that I can watch some cartoons in English? Of course you can do. Yes, I recommend just to check maybe that it has subtitles. Yes. Maybe this is the example of Hotel Transylvania. It comes with closed captioning. Years ago, long before humans walked the earth, we gnomes made this land a dream first. Then you can check movie trailers or even movies on, on YouTube. You can find the full movies. If you just want to start just step by step, you just can check movie trailers. You can check the new movies that are now showing on the cinema or you prefer you can check some classics there are classics there yes the trailers are there so then you can be familiar with something then you can check all trailers from different movies that are now uh, showing on cinema and also classics i'm going to share with you this one that is pet cemetery that's the new version 2019 Now let's check some YouTube channels. Uh, yesterday I used this interesting channel I found. I was teaching recycling to my students and I want to share the video I used in my lesson so it was pretty interesting. So this is one, the one I used. It was about 17 ingenious ideas of how to recycle plastic bottles. You'll be shocked by the downright practicality of hack number five. Number 17, phone charge holder. Number 17 is essential to anyone who has a cell phone. Reduce the times your communication social media work tool gets on the floor to zero with a cool... Let's check another one. This one, this is so awesome. Then. Uh, I remember I used many of these videos during my lessons and it's very easy to understand for you, for students. It's really great to use it in, and then they can get. So I remember I put the one that I always choose is about pizza. It's about children tasting the pizza. So they have several reactions about pizza. Yes. So that's quite funny. And yes, this is about the pizza topping. So if you never seen it, or maybe you should. That's a good way to to check here. I used to not like pineapples. I love pineapples now. I guess it's not too bad actually. It's uh, it adds an interesting flavor. You can take out the subtitles, or you can put them depending on how good your English is. Or now you... I am okay. It depends on. Uh, how confident you feel. And what about music? There are special sites where you can use lyrics to practice that they also combine YouTube. Um, I'm going to show you another one that is called lyricstraining.com. Yes, it's really fascinating. You would love it. Love it. And you can register and once you register then let's pick one song that is marvelous because there are several songs, for example, Just the Way You Are, Bruno Mars. You can choose the level. Let's say, okay, um, 
beginner. Then you play this and then you start filling up the lyrics. Her eyes. Her eyes, her eyes, make the stars look like they're not shining. Her hair, her hair falls perfectly. And then I continue. So then, no, not shining. See? The idea is that students need to complete the lyrics and uh, what well, you I mean you have to complete the lyrics and then it will stop until you don't complete it you cannot go on so unless you complete the rest you can continue it's very engaging and entertaining there are different levels as I shown you before and not only you can practice English if you are learning only languages this is wonderful because it comes in English in French in different languages indeed, yes, different languages are available in this interesting site that is lyricstraining.com Well, as I was telling you, YouTube is an excellent uh, way you can practice English. I really love singing, so there are many YouTube karaoke channels. So then I can show you, for example, this one that is singing. Here is one example of one of the songs you can find in this uh, karaoke channel, singing. Um, my suggestion is first try to check the video clip with the lyrics before you try these type of uh, YouTube channels because they only provide you with the melody. And for teachers they can use these in their lessons, maybe they can do competitions, yes, in class with boys versus girls, well, there are several other things they can do. So here we're going to try this one, this is a song from Alanis Morissette, it's ironic. So you see how it works. Moment to ninety-eight, he won the lottery. A nine the next day is a black fly in your shirt. In he is a that draw pardon. Two minutes too late. It's an ironic. Don't you think? It's like Ryan on your wedding day. So, so see, music can be really interesting and fascinating. Well, I really enjoy listening to music, so it's an excellent way to practice your English. You can extend your vocabulary, check new words, and, and also, and the most important thing is the pronunciation. One thing though is that you should check maybe some informal languages that may come um, and you may come across and then that's interesting that you could check it to, on your dictionary just in case if you see something that is quite informal there are sometimes that I um, mean the, the composers include some words and maybe there are some reasons that may not be grammatically correct so just be careful always check this with your teachers but in terms of pronunciation is a wonderful way to practice your English, yes. I really enjoy British artists because they enunciate well, but then you have American singers and so on. What about YouTubers? You can um, have a look at different YouTubers that are talking about different topics like maybe trips, maybe fashion. Now it's very common to see people following fashion trends, so then it can be about that or anything you are interested in. So then by listening to someone who is a native speaker, so you can have a chance to listen to uh, real English. So we're going to check then some examples. 
Well, as I was telling you, there are many YouTubers you can follow, yes, and this is one I really love. I'm subscribed to this channel. It's Los LeBlanc. He is a, a traveler, he is keen on traveling, he has different videos about the different places he has been around the world. And something you should know about this guy, yes, whose name is Christian, uh, he's in love with a Peruvian girl, yes, and she's very famous because she's a YouTube blogger as well, a fashion YouTube YouTuber, and then uh, she has a channel called What the Chick, she's Katy, if you don't know her, so then you can also follow her, yes, but she's a Spanish YouTube blogger. Anyway, here Chris and her are sharing their experiences as a couple in the different trips they've been together. So let's have a look at this. She's like, I'm like a dolphin, I can stay for hours. Oh, so why am I back in South America? Well, as we speak, a couple of sailors by the name of Riley and Elena are headed across the Atlantic Ocean. Well, another YouTuber that I want to share with you is this fashion YouTuber called Luana. She's Peruvian, but she lives in New York. Yes, so her English is really good, as I was telling you. Uh, she also writes a blog in English, so you're interested in fashion, yes. She has very good uh, kinds of uh, things about, different kinds of videos about fashion. She's really trendy. If you don't know her, she is Luana, and her YouTube channel is Le Happy. So, we are going to check one of her videos so then you can see. Just remember, every time you are watching a video, always verify that it has caption. Yes, it's a good idea, so then in case it's too hard, you can rely on the captioning. videos you are watching have some captioning that means that they have subtitles available maybe it's too hard for you so then you can try just in case if you cannot find it probably then um, this may happen in news channels that we're going to check later but whenever it's possible maybe first if it's too hard try with subtitles in English evidently then little by little you just can rely that you could do it without them and then let's see one day maybe you could just check the video as it is without subtitles so let's have a try interviews and news you are into any specific band yes yeah, so you have interviews yes so then you can check some interviews about bands if you are into music Here's uh, later with Jules Holland. There are different things. I love British music. You have also the M M E New Musical Express uh, page. So also has some interviews and also musical videos of British artists. Uh, or if you prefer American English, you can also get two news. News like in ABC News. Yes, you can check this one. That's another thing. This, this is everything is on YouTube. BBC News as well. That's another one. Yes, I already subscribed. So then I have this. If you prefer British English or American English, you have CNN and you have live streaming. That's wonderful. So you can just click. We can click on this, and a man catches a plane crashing camera. Look at it. But the idea is that you can share with your students the different sites where they can get information. Well, now uh, I'm coming to the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed all the ideas that I display. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about something pretty interesting. Yes, you will see. Uh, well, keep attentive to everything that is coming right after. Subscribe to my channel and, well, See you next time. Give me, leave me comments, please. And that's it. Bye.